Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper. Remember this little guy? It's a Frog Sounds QRP transceiver on 7023 kHz. Now, thanks to my friend Bob, Cockpit Bob on the Radio Prepper forum, who sent me a few of these 7030 crystals, I'm going to change the frequency of this radio. And uh, 7030 is the uh, calling frequency for low power radios, so uh, I'll get a little more traffic and better chances of uh, making contact. Of course, uh, that creates a whole new set of problems, and that's the lack of filtering of these radios. So, um, I got a Nescaf filter. It's an audio filter that's used for uh, QRP radios uh, that don't have filtering, like the Frog Sounds, the Pixie, or the Rock Might, and uh, many others. It allows you to uh, filter out uh, stations uh, that you don't want to hear. You might think that uh, these tiny radios are gimmicks, and, and they are, they're gadgets. But they could be a lifesaver if that's all you have. So let's start with uh, changing the crystal first. There are two of them actually. And then we'll see how the lack of filtering can be, uh, let's just say, challenging.
It works. Excellent. Well, unfortunately, it's not a contest day or anything like that, and the band doesn't seem to be quite open. I heard some uh, Morse code. Yep. So the filter is plugged in. This is the bandwidth frequency. We totally eliminated this one. Of course, it's not in a case, so uh, there's a lot of static. So here it's centered. And here's the bandwidth. It's maximum here. And you can definitely hear a reduction in bandwidth here. I could chase the signal now with the uh, frequency knob. Nothing right now. I need to open up the bandwidth a little bit. There we go. So I can isolate this guy. It finally transmits again. See if I open the bandwidth I hear more signals. So definitely it's working. I'll have to wait for a more busy day to test it uh, more in depth and definitely put it in a case. But uh, it seems to work great and uh, you can check videos about the Netcalf, uh, Nescaf filter on YouTube. Uh, you'll find plenty of them, uh, plenty of demonstrations. I'm pretty happy about it. It's going to be pretty useful with uh, my small tiny uh, Morse code rigs. And uh, that's it. Oh, by the way, the, uh, the new uh, crystals uh, do transmit on 703025. Have a quick look. So I'm very happy with the uh, Nescaf filter. It works really well. Uh, I'll have to test it, of course, with more traffic, uh, maybe on a contest weekend. But uh, the uh, frequency uh, potentiometer works, the bandwidth reduction adjustment works, everything works. So if you want a good filter, uh, you can go ahead and uh, get the Nescaf. Have a good one.